Good Sabbath morning prayer partners. We finished our week of goodness and I'm so grateful that I made you a watermelon cake. That's right. Again, I wasn't so pleased with the watermelons that I got at the store and had to throw some of them away. But I just basically took some pineapple, strawberry, blueberry, raspberries, and then there's a strawberry in the middle with blueberries surrounded it, and just stuck it with some toothpicks in the watermelon. Super easy, super simple. Everything is pretty sweet. I'm not gonna cut it. <laughs> but I was struggling with the watermelon this week. And you may struggle with the fruit of the spirit. Oh goodness, if you, a magnifying glass in here, shall we? <laughs> People often question your motivation or your behavior. You get questioned. Are you sure? Can I trust you? Has your word been so consistent? Oh, that was ooh, that was the word. Well, I was making this fruit and the different things this week. Sugar has a consistency to harden and crystallize when I try to make. Uh, the Tang Hulu, a Korean, um, basically kind of sugar candy or kind of like a caramelized apple or candy apple. Nothing will ever be good if you're not consistent. Your exercise routine will be beneficial, but the more consistent you are, the better you'll see results. If you read the Bible consistently, your understanding, God says, will grow. Your knowledge of Christ will grow. Does anybody question if you read the Bible? Does anybody question do you pray? Does anybody question your motives and your behaviors? Does anybody question your sincerity? And if they do, you may struggle with goodness. Let me read what the Bible says. Psalms chapter 40, verse 8. I desire to do your will, O oh my God. Your laws are within my heart. I love this so much. I was like, God will expose when he comes back the hidden things of the heart. Everything will be brought to the light. Our motives, intentions, and behavior will all be brought up to the forefront. No one will ever be deceived on what was really going on. So often, people hide their true intentions and motives and justify their behaviors. Most time, it's a selfish reason. It has nothing beneficial for the other person. It's just really about them. I think I had, yes, I do couple of tips for you on the last day here on the Sabbath. <sighs> Saying I love you isn't enough. I need you to show me, especially in relationships. Being consistent in how you show up for somebody demonstrating safety even when you are upset following through with commitments and promises making efforts toward healing and being healthier person 
in whatever aspect of relationship you're in. Respecting boundaries without pushback. I'm gonna say that one more time for the people in the back. <laughs> Respecting boundaries without pushback. It's very important to people's mental health. Don't go gaslighting. It's not good. Setting and holding your own boundaries. So just as much as it needs to be respected, I need to have my own, right? Learning and practicing new skills to navigate hard conversations. Working together to find a solution versus just giving up. Choosing to prioritize the other person with time, energy, and behavior. We would do it with our kids if they're failing in school. Time, energy, and behavior would need to shift. You want to see a better student? Put more into the baby. I'm telling you. I know it to be true. When my father invested in me when I was failing math, I got better because he knew about math. And then he took the time and he changed his behavior. Yelling and screaming was not getting it. It just wasn't. Being sensitive to somebody's triggers and the wound that they're trying to heal. It's not good to keep bringing up old stuff. Making decisions that prioritize connection over convenience you have to learn how to manage your emotions and create a pause between stimulus and response oh god showed me that really well uh this past week someone said something along the lines of i wouldn't have been your friend i paused and got quiet said how can I respect this person but also set a boundary and ask them to take accountability because that was painful they adjusted they changed work through it you understand that people and situations aren't just black and white there's some nuance there's some good you don't need to put others down to make yourself feel better your self-talk this is a good green this is a good green flag i'm wearing green here's a good green flag for you your self-talk how do you talk to yourself is becoming more positive and empowering you can admit when you're wrong and you don't make a big deal when you're right you can rest without feeling guilty. That's some good stuff right there. You are able to preserve your independence in a relationship and have healthy attachment style. Some people think they know our personal motives but they can't see how our insecurities motivate fear and anxiety or goodness in us. Nobody really sees the man's heart, but God sees and knows the heart of each motivation, whether it's righteous or self-righteous. Let's talk to him today about our motives. And I was challenged on a man on Monday a couple weeks back or last week. Have you ever asked God how he feels? How what we do affects him? Right here. There you go. Let's pray. God, you're good. The week of goodness was good to me. I had some bad watermelon, but I had a good time prepping the food. I had some bad experiences, but I learned some good lessons. 
I've had some bad moral conduct. But you've made some good progress in me. I've had some good days. <laughs> I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days. <laughs> I've had some anxious days. I've had some worried days. I've had some painful days. I've had some teary days. I've had some lonely days. I've had some shameful nights. But your goodness endureth forever. And for that, I thank you. Empower us, Holy Spirit, to look for your goodness and for righteousness, not self-righteousness. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful weekend, prayer partners, and as always, enjoy Jesus. This is a little bonus for you. I had to throw away all that watermelon. It wasn't good. I love how God showed me this week. If it's not good, throw it away. I have been struggling with letting go things in my house. And the closer I get to being more consistent, the easier it is to let go of things that serve no good in my life. I love that. If it's broken and I said I was gonna get it fixed, but I'm never gonna really get it fixed, I can get rid of it now. I'm not holding on to all this paper. I'm releasing and I'm becoming free in 2023. That was a thing our church this year who the sun sets free is truly free indeed and it's good to be free from things that no longer serve any good in your life cut it out <laughs> and enjoy jesus y'all be blessed